Hi everybody, this is Valentina from the Billy Telling Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful vanilla ice cream or as we say in Italian, gelato alla crema. For the vanilla ice cream I'm going to use um, two different attachments for my KitchenAid. The regular metal bowl with the whip at the beginning to make the mixture that it's going to make the gelato and then I'm going to use my ice cream maker attachment for the KitchenAid. For the gelato alla crema you're going to need four yolks, half milk and half every cream, white sugar, vanilla and that's it. <laughs> uh, you'll find all the measurements in both grams and cups in the link in the more info area below the video. Okay, so first we're gonna mix the yolks with 150 grams of sugar, which is about a cup and a half. Put it on stir, lock it just in case. And then we're gonna speed it up so it becomes like a beautiful cream. Now I'm going to put it back on stir, which is the lowest setting, and I'm going to add the mixture of milk and heavy cream. We don't want to whip the cream, just want to mix everything together. And I really do love these uh, silicone cups because you can squeeze them. It doesn't need to have a spout, you can just, you know, squeeze it silicone. It cleans very well too half a teaspoon of this amazing organic vanilla. That looks good to me. Okay, and I transferred the mixture into a bowl that has a spout, so it's gonna be easier to pour it into the functioning ice cream makers while it spins. I'm gonna cover it with uh, uh, cellophane and uh, set it in the fridge, let it cool down for a couple of hours. Add the ice cream bowl from the freezer and lock it in place. And then for my KitchenAid, I have to first drop this in. The bigger part goes in here and then and then you sort of slide it underneath. You lock it in place and you put it on stair. It's grinding a little against the sides but it's just because there I might have left a little bit of water and it froze so there's a little bit of ice. So as it's stirring, I'm gonna pour in my custard mixture. And this bowl is perfect because I can get all of it inside. And now give it 20 minutes. Our gelato alla crema is finally done. I'm gonna unlock it, take it off, and it's beautiful. It's soft serve right now, so I'm gonna put it in a Tupperware and then store it in the freezer until after dinner when it will be ready to serve and it's really gonna look like professionally made gelato, but obviously better. <laughs> Don't freak out if you try it and it's gonna be too sweet because when you put it back in the freezer as it cools down you lose some of the sweetness of the ice cream. Let's sneak a try. Mm. Delicious. Great recipe. Thank you, thank you. We're gonna cover it and uh, let it set in the freezer for a couple of hours. Thank you so much for following The Really Telling Kitchen. I'm really happy about my KitchenAid purchase. You can go ahead and buy the ice cream maker without any doubts that it will work and it will work well. And if you follow the recipes and the, pro and the process correctly, you will be able to make amazing ice cream at home monitoring the ingredients that you decide to put in it. Please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook, Twitter and 
Pinterest. The end, of course, my blog spot. In the more info era below, you can find all the links to all those beautiful social networks. Thank you so much. Ciao, ciao.